<laughs> I should have forgot to do something. I'm a silly person. Uh, I don't really care. Um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do what then? Let's, uh, 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 oh yeah, let's go back to where we were before. Cause it, um, well I did, this might not be perfect, but I think this is better. And I'll stop, not, I'll just not worry about it right now. I'll go back to, yeah, what we were doing before. Um, okay, so, right, because I still haven't finished converting this. So, actual num players, yeah, so that's better. Um, what else am I doing here? Uh, so, graphics messages, right, so we don't use name tag list anymore, we just use eligible list, which is a little silly. Technically, I should have ditched eligible list, kept name tag list, but, eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, name tag list is just not a thing anymore. I think I already got rid of it. Um, so, say lines, uh, growth list, uh, GI, uh, yeah, so that's, this is, this is all staying the same, heyday, Mary, and yoikes, those were the altern alternatives to huzzah that I might have used for this, but I think huzzah is the right thing to use for this, so, um, let me get rid of that <laughs> note to myself, um, all right, so if actual num players, uh, is, uh, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm just gonna conclude this event, because it's been, like, it's just been, like, uh, it's just been there for like ever so <laughs> i like for a little while i was like oh i'll just like i'll just let the test case run i'll just like see what happens if the event just runs for a while but at this point i don't find it useful data so wait a second i said regroup and it thinks okay yeah so it's printing the dictionary it print yeah i was like wait why did it print all three entries and it printed all three entries because i'm populating the the dictionary with multi with with all the entries um but only one of them actually listed data regroup listed data the other ones list like state is empty so that is actually correct okay just checking uh uh so uh yeah let's continue on here uh so eligible list say lines uh yeah the rest of this might be okay i mean it's a lot simpler now right so it's kind of nice uh in some ways um so say q uh um Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, <laughs> excuse me, um, let's, uh, let's do what then? Um, I think this is good, let's continue eliminating passive points from the history of the game. Uh, actual num players, graphics messages, Say line, say quote. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, oops, sorry. Sorry, I just remember something. Uh, I'm just going to move this over here. Oh, yeah, you know what else I just remembered is I still haven't done the thing. Yeah, I still haven't done the thing about deferring. Sorry, real quick. I'm just going to. I'm probably not going to do it for the stable version of the script. I'm just going to do it for this version. Um, no, I'll do it for the stable version, in case I restart the script. Uh, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm, so, like, the action dictionary, I'm rinsing it too soon. Uh, or no, action dictionary? Yeah, action dictionary at the end of, no, the event dictionary, excuse me, at the end of the event. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm rinsing the event dictionary, or event set, rather. Wait, event set? I. Uh, oh, wait a second. No, at the end of the event, we're not continuing to show... Wait, maybe that's normal. Hold on, let me look into that real quick. Um, so it's for voices, right? Uh, oops, I didn't mean to actually write there. Uh, so let's go to uh, voices. Uh, what actually controls this? It's the uh, the show event data. And if we are showing the event data, we process the event. Yeah, no, actually, this has nothing to do with the event data. So this actually probably still works. Um, so I probably don't have to do anything here. Right, because it just uses the and the, yeah no it, it it doesn't use the event the event um set it uses the uh it uses the the action dictionary and that doesn't get reset until the next event it's just uh, I think the, the reason like I keep I keep seeing that it doesn't like show the uh, like it just goes to blank at the end of the event but that's only because it switches back to the voice data right wait a second though 
when uh when Vigard said camp though, um, what did nothing happen there? I. Uh, Vigard said camp, and it did register camp, and it did register voice data for it. So why is that not showing up, I guess is a question that I might consider. Because um, I feel like it should. Uh, camp, yeah. Huh. I don't know if I care about it 100% right now, but like, that is, that is, so, okay, there is something weird going on here. Um, I'm just going to test uh, potato... So I'm, I'm going to say potato, and it's going to register that I said potato, and it's going to register my voice data as having said potato, but it's not actually going to show potato here. It should be showing camp and potato here, right? Because that was how we set it up. Um, so yeah, so what am I doing wrong? Um, uh, am I... I guess... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm curious to see... So what is it that I'm printing out, like when with the uh, with like the voice stuff? Um, am I printing out the volume dictionary, or am I printing out just like my personal voice data? I guess I can't. Hmm. Uh, let's find out. Um, no, that has that has to be my personal voice data. So let's uh, so let's um, yeah, when we when we populate the voice data, let's um. So volume dictionary, yeah. So let's also like print what the volume dictionary is, I guess. Where is it that we're actually printing that voice data? Wait, we're totally printing that voice data. I guess only in some cases. Uh, Oh, here it is. Oh, we're only doing it in the case of... Yeah, so instead of, um, instead of printing out the voice, whatever, I think I'm going to print out the volume data. Uh, and I'm just going to do it whenever. Or, yeah, no, I'm just going to say, so if the length of, uh, volume, volume dictionary, uh, if the length of volume dictionary is greater than zero, we're just going to print uh, the volume dictionary. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to do this uh, in, in all the cases that we're, we have voice data going on. So we'll do it here. We'll do it here. Oh, we kind of already are. Oh, wait, no, this is, uh, this is something different. The length of valid action is greater than zero. Yeah. Um, oh, so actually, I'll say... Um, I won't just I won't just always print out the volume dictionary. It'll only be if um if what if uh, v key oh yeah that'd probably explain it. I'm just, I'm calling it v key, but then I'm only saying key. It should be consistent either way <laughs> like it doesn't matter which of those I use but it it should be consistent right oh no no wait so for wait wait I already have key going on as like wait is this supposed to be is this supposed to be v key or key for v key this is a separate loop, so it's like it's not happening inside this other loop, so it doesn't really matter which I use. So I guess for consistency, I'll just use key. Is that what was, is that why the voice data is not showing up? Yeah, that would make sense, right? Because it was printing, yeah, it was because it was, it was populating the player's like voice. Wait, was it? Yeah, it was populating the player's voice correctly. It just wasn't. Uh, no, it was it. Was it? No, it shouldn't have. That shouldn't have. Uh, that shouldn't have worked. Oh no, it worked because um, it worked only in the case. Yeah, no, it just worked by coincidence sometimes. So yeah, so right. So this should actually be. This should be for key invoice keys. Okay, so that's that's okay. So I, I, I guess I don't really even need to print out the voice dictionary or the volume dictionary or whatever. 
because it should be working now. Um, or it should, with this change, it should start working. Uh, yeah. Like, working for real, not just, like, coincidentally working sometimes by accident. Um, uh, all right, so one more, one more place to update that. Uh, not here. Um, not here. Uh, wait, what am I doing with the timestamps here? Yeah, wait, what am I doing with the timestamps here? Because, like, uh... I... Oh, I think I'm just, like, skipping these. Whereas, like, in these situations, I should be also doing the, uh... I should still be doing the, uh... Like, the stuff that I do here with, like, this, uh... This volume dictionary, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah? I'm pretty sure. Um... So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll fix two bugs here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, yeah, so... So, right, because, like, when we're adding in vo these voice keys, like, we should be doing this thing. Oops. Uh, what have I done? Uh, right, that's the whole point of adding in these voice keys. Oh, okay, except here, and says it's not, um... It's not just key, it's a key. So... Uh, oops, nope. <laughs> copy, not paste. Uh, copy, uh, key, key, uh, do, do, key, uh, is that all? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, so, so if you're doing it here, uh, do, 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 um, we should be doing it here, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, this one's not a key. This one's L I for some reason. Cause just to just keep you on your toes, I just like I just like use like random uh, keys or uh, random terms for these keys. Like whenever they pop up, just like to keep it keep it interesting, keep it fresh. Uh, okay, but now this now the so now voice data should actually be working again. I hope. <laughs> um. I won't restart the script, because it's not like a critical feature, but, uh, yeah, okay, so save that, and then, uh, and then, uh, cool, so let's, uh, let's do what then, let's, uh, excuse me, sorry, just one second, uh, <laughs> Uh, so, okay, yeah, let's get back to the passive points, right? Uh, so where is the next reference to passive points? Uh, passive chirp is not the same thing. Uh, passive chirp, not the same thing. Although it is somewhat related, because the passive chirp happens when the passive points, etc., etc. All right, so what are we doing here? Player dictionary passive points plus equals end gain one. Oh, this is when we, um... This is when we... Oh, this yeah, this is when we process exp gain, so we can just get rid of this entirely, right? Because um, we just don't care about passive points anymore. And then, so the other thing is that um, oh, we can, this, so this whole thing will get much simplified because like uh, like process exp gains uh, is go it doesn't have like um, it doesn't have these like multiple values anymore. So like end gain, so end gain equals process exp gains dot pop li. So end gain. Um, there's no such thing as end gain one anymore, so we can just like get rid of that. Uh, if end gain one, yeah, so we can actually get rid of like basically all of this because all we ever have to do now is uh, is say add experience. Uh, if li in player dictionary add experience end gain, that's all we have to do anymore. Right, so. As you can see, this was like a choke point previously, and now we're simplifying it a little bit. <laughs> so, cool. Uh, uh, yeah. So then, uh, count, uh, negative, count minus equals one, and if count, yeah, 
Yeah, that's all we have to do. Uh, oh, wait a second. This can hang. Because... For iron range count... Right, we, we only get to the break statement if we hit both of these conditionals. Oh, I wonder if this is that thing, like, a while back, that, like, sometimes the game would just, like, lock up for a couple minutes. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, so, let's, uh... Uh... Let's do what, then? So, it should be, um... So, if li in player dictionary... So, wait, so... No, I feel like this would probably crash. This probably would have crashed instead of just hanging. Because, like, if we tried to pop from an empty list, I feel like that would probably have caused a problem. Uh, so... Uh, so I'm also going to say... Um, li equals process gains... L, wait, li equals process exp gains dot keys. Oh, negative one. Index negative one. So actually, I'll say um, so. I'll say uh, if the length of uh, process uh, process exp gains is uh, equals uh, zero, then we'll break, uh, and then the else case will be. Uh, else, uh, li, uh, and I mean, I could indent this whole thing, but like, it doesn't really matter, because like, this whole thing, oh yeah, so actually this doesn't need to be an else case, right, because like, uh, just because we're breaking there on that condition, like, the whole thing becomes the else case, so, yeah, uh, okay, uh, yeah, I don't think, I, I don't, I guess we've never actually hit this crash before, but hypothetically it could happen, so, it would happen in the case that the last player in this dictionary, or however many of the last players in this dictionary, had already left before the ex the experience was processed. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, I hadn't thought about that, but that's also a reason that I'll have to get the, uh, the EXP gains up to speed. Um, or else I'll just have to come up with a way to... The, to write... Oh, yeah, no. Actually, now that I have the cache, I actually can do this. I actually can handle the case. Yeah, now that now that the cache exists, I can actually handle the case where the player is not in the player dictionary anymore. That's probably fine, actually, now that I think about it. So, yeah, I can just get rid of this, and I can say... Um, so, for... Uh, so, I'll do this... Uh, I'll do this count regardless of whether the player's in the player dictionary. Um, if the player, so then uh, in the else case here, if the player's not in the player dictionary, then we'll say, um, we'll say, uh, 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 what do we say? We'll write to their cache. Ah, uh, we'll write to the cache regardless of whether any of their data exists. I was, I was tempted to say, like, we'll only write if, like, the, if any of their player data exists yet, but, no. Nah. Like, sometimes their player data might not exist due, just because of, uh... Because if, like, if I can't get... If I don't get the... If I don't get the data writing to go fast enough, I'll have to, like... My, my plan B is to just make it so that the data writing catches up at the end. And so, hypothetically, this could be... Like, this could accumulate really a lot. And, uh... There could be a many of players on this uh, on this list. Um, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so let's say uh, so. The else case is uh, if uh, os if if uh, if not uh, os dot path dot exists. Uh, um, all right. So we'll say uh, we'll say. Uh, uh, p f path uh, equals uh, players slash uh, oh, this should be in quotes uh, players slash uh, plus uh, l i which is the player's name uh, so if not os path if not os path exists 
uh, players, uh, or, uh, excuse me, uh, PF path, uh, uh, PF path, uh, then we'll say OS dot make dir, uh, make dir, uh, uh, PF path, uh, then we'll say, uh, Oh yeah, and so if uh, if if the if this didn't exist, then we know that the file didn't exist. So we can just say uh, with uh, open uh, uh, with open uh, pf path uh, plus uh, slash cache. Because if we just made the folder, then there was obviously no cache.txt existent before. So oh, did, last time I'd made cache. Did I, did I name it cache.txt or did I just name it cache? Because I should have named it cache.txt. Uh, and I just forget if I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, just checking. Uh, Cache.txt. Okay, just checking. Okay, so with open. Uh, so yeah. So uh, oh, open open uh, for uh, for writing. Uh, we can just say um, so as uh, I don't know like C data. Uh, we can just say um, C data dot write uh, the string uh, version of. Uh, what is it? Uh, end gain. End gain. Yeah. So it's just we just write out to their cache the amount of experience that they were supposed to have gained. Um, yeah. And then. Uh, and then what? Um, so. Uh, I yeah. All right. So then the else case that the so if the folder already existed, then. Uh, then we have to check if the if the file existed because if the file also already existed, then we'll have to load that data. So let's say um, so let's say uh, like c total so or so else case uh, like c c total uh, equals uh, n gain. Uh, uh, actually, no, we can just use n gain, right? Yeah, because we don't need n gain for any other purposes. So we can say um, so if uh, os uh, dot path uh, exists uh, uh, and then so we're looking for pf path uh, plus uh, uh, slash oops I put the slash outside of the uh, the uh, quotation marks there uh, cache uh, dot txt uh, then uh, then we'll say uh, with open uh, with open uh, this file uh, 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 as uh, C data, oh, there is a way to open a file for reading and writing at the same time. But this, the, we, just because the folder existed doesn't mean that the file necessarily existed. So, uh, yeah. So, so we'll say um, uh, we'll say n gain uh, uh, plus n gain uh, plus equals. Uh, C data dot read C C data dot read um, C data dot read I don't know how they could have like two caches at the same time. So maybe this is actually an impossible case. No I don't know. I don't <sighs> Yeah, should I just not account for this case? Because like I can't like if the player was in the like, the player can't get into this queue unless they were in the game. And if they were in this game, it would have cleared their cache. So, like, what's the scenario wherein the player gets a cache? When they already have one? I don't know. I'll... Ah. I don't know. All right, well, so, so end gain is, uh, gains the integer equivalent of, end da of cdata.read. Yeah. Uh, all right, and then... And then, okay, so then the last thing we do is, is this, is this, same thing, uh, same thing as this, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, so actually, I mean, I guess this happens in either case, like, this always happens. So we can actually get rid of this here, and unindent this here. And that's like the same thing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, save that. And then, uh, so for no particular reason, I'm going to say uh, pf 
uh, PF path uh, plus equals uh, slash cache dot uh, txt and uh, so it could be that this else case I just don't even need uh, but I don't know I'll leave it there for now oops uh, wait. Uh, do, do, do. yeah there we go um, oh so this actually can be an L if case because it's like else if so yeah might as well just make it an L if uh, do, do, do. Uh, okay and then uh, and then what <clears throat> And then, uh, yes, yeah, so let's continue chopping passive out of the game. Uh, the rest of this is, is correct, right? Li passive gains, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's find uh, passive. Uh, so passive points for P key in player dictionary. Oh, huzzah. Huzzah. What? For P key in. Oh, yeah, no, this is just the, this is just the same thing that we were doing before. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so get rid of this, uh, so growth, oh yeah, so, so here this is where we say growth exp value equals, uh, okay, we can cut all this stuff, all we have to say, yeah, all we have to say is growth exp value equals, um, equals, uh, well, just, it was the same formula as before. So it was like, uh, oh, so we can actually do it. We can actually do it just in another place if we're not doing it already. It's so like, uh, growth, uh, growth spelled correctly, growth, uh, uh, exp value. Are we setting this up here? No, we're not. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we're already handling it in init growth. So yeah, okay, that's actually fine. We can just we can just leave the rest of it as it was, because uh, we're actually already doing it here. Uh, okay, so um, uh, so yeah, let's continue looking for passive uh, points references. Uh, yeah, so passive. What is this? Oh, this is a uh, yeah. This is where we actually like add in the passive amount. So let's get rid of this stuff altogether. Total awarded? I don't know what total awarded is. It's probably not related there. Passive vowels. Yeah, we can just get rid of all this stuff. Because this is the part where we're awarding... This is not like not the part where we're cashing in the passive points, but the, the place where we're awarding the passive points in the first place. So yeah, so this might be the last reference to process EXP gains. Uh, because again, this can also uh, get reduced down to... What is it? It's like... Uh, passive uh, exp uh, or excuse me not passive process uh, process exp gains uh, uh, index uh, p key uh, index p key uh, equals uh, process uh, exp gains uh, dot get p key uh, alternately zero if p key is not in process exp gains and then plus uh, values PB, apparently. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, total awarded. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's, that's what we do instead of this. And then, uh, yeah, cool. Is that the, is that, that might be all the references to passive. Oh, no, there's... It's a little, oh yeah, yeah, there's a little bit more down there. Uh, but, is that everything that we need to do here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Alright, so save that, and then, uh, what do I do with total awarded? Oh yeah, no, I know what to do with it. Um, okay, so, passive amount, uh, we can get rid of all this stuff. Uh, yeah, so then, uh, passive vowels, we can get rid of that too. Cool, we did it, we cut... We cut that system, cut it right the heck out of here. Yay! <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, and then, uh, so 
I could, um... Hmm. Nah, this is good. Uh, this is okay for now. Uh, okay, so save, uh, save stuff and whatnot, and then, uh... Yeah, so what else am I gonna do? Am I, am I done with, like, yeah, I'm done cutting out the passive values, so that, like, whole thing... I'm, I'll check, uh, process, uh... Process EXP gains. There might be some places. Yeah, there. Oh, look at this. Yeah, immediately they pop up some places where I'm not. I, I need to change how uh, I'm handling this stuff. Uh, so let's uh, let's go. Let's do a whirl through here. Uh, so process EXP gains. That's fine. Uh, process EXP gains. Yes, this is the new way of doing things. The new world order. Uh, new world order. So okay. So right. This is the other place that we t that we touched up. Um, uh, And, uh, so right, so if, na right, so, so this is simple, all we do here is, instead of referencing index zero, we just, uh, oh, well, actually, we can, we can change this, we can change how this works, uh, we can change it so that, um, we can change it to, like, the new way, so it can be, uh, process exp gains, uh, uh, equals process exp gains, uh, dot get, uh, name alternately zero uh, plus integer rounded blah 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 and then we can get rid of this all, all this conditional stuff around here uh, like this uh, yeah and then uh, probably the same thing here yep same thing here um, oh yeah actually this is the yeah yeah no this is a uh, right, right right so this is uh, yeah basically the same thing so again process exp gains name uh, we don't have to index zero anymore. We can say uh, equals uh, process uh, exp gains dot get uh, name comma zero in case there's not an entry already plus one and yeah we can get rid of these conditionals out here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, save that. Uh, oh, so I still need to make that script that'll convert all of the current passive points into the cache. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I still don't understand how the, those passive events are sometimes happening in the middle of an event. I don't know how that's happening. It's curious. I'm intrigued. It doesn't really bother me that much, because it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. But it just, it does seem funny to me. Um, alright, so, uh, so let's see. Um, Yeah, so, so process exp gains, let's, are there more references that I have not yet updated? Let's find out. Yes, here's one. Here's one right here. So once again, we don't index it by zero. We just say plus equal, or we don't even say plus equals. We just say equals uh, process, uh, process exp gains, uh, dot get name or zero, name is not in the dictionary, plus one. Uh, yes. So much the simplers. I think um, I think lately I've actually been reducing lines of code. Like I haven't actually my script hasn't been getting longer. It's actually been getting shorter because I just keep doing stuff like this, where like I go back to old systems and like rethink them and uh, and change them to operate in a different in a different way. Um, <laughs> I, that's probably not literally true, but it feels that way sometimes. Um, okay, so uh, so yeah, so let's. Uh, Save that, and then, uh, hmm. Oh yeah, that's, so one thing that just occurred to me was that I should be changing the interval of these events. Because right now, the event system happens every 15 minutes. And this happens every 45 minutes, which means it's going to get into this, like, situation where it's, like, in a, like... I guess maybe it's fine. I don't know, it just seems like, depending on how the events, like, play out, like, they could get weirdly synchronized, right? Like, it'll always, like, it used to be the case that sometimes, like, they would, it would always happen exactly at the end of an event, which was just awkward. So, like, just in the off chance that that, something like that could happen, um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna, uh, I 
I was just going to change it so that it's like it's like a slightly different number so that it never would line up quite that way. Like it's always like going to alternate slightly. Um, how is it going to do that? I guess like, so if it's every 15 minutes now, then, um, I mean, I could just like hard set it. So it's like, uh, so it always happens like every, uh, so if, yeah, so if it's like, if it's every 15 minutes that the, if the events happen every 15 minutes, then I could set it to like something like 37 minutes, right? Cause then it'll never like line up weirdly with the events. Like it'll always, it'll always happen. Like, I don't know, like it, the, it can, they can never like happen perfectly in sync. They're always happening at like slightly different intervals relative to each other. Um, 37 minutes. I don't know. Something like that could be fine, I guess. Uh, is it going to get, like, stuck in a weird way if it tries to happen during the middle of an event? Well, I mean, actually, it, as far as we can tell, when it tries to happen in the middle of an event, it just happens in the middle of the event. <laughs> so maybe maybe I fix that by breaking it, but um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, one, so one thing I want to do is, uh, since, I, since they basically changed how the system works and it doesn't, like, check values anymore, I think I'm going to scale down these values. Like, I'm basically going to, like... I, I don't know, like cut them in half maybe. So like the I'll make the fours. So I'll replace the. So the, I'll start at the bottom. So the threes will be twos, because I, I never want them to be only worth one point. But like the threes will be twos now. Uh, threes will be twos, because I'm also thinking of making them happen more often. So uh, here I'll start at the bottom. Threes are twos. Like, one point is, like, a little lackluster. Like, one point is a little unimpressive. But, yeah, two points. So the fours will be, uh... The fours will be threes now, I guess. Ah, uh, do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. Uh, the fives will be f fours. Actually, the fives might be threes as well. Ah... Uh, like I, I kind of want to, yeah, no, the fives, yeah, the fives will be threes as well. The sixes and sevens, maybe those will be fours. Uh, or maybe the sixes will be threes as well. Uh, there aren't, there aren't that many sixes or sevens. Uh, there's only one six actually. <laughs> so, uh, strange new type of insects. That'll be worth three points, I guess. Uh, new best friend. Oh, there's only one seven too. That can be four, I guess. So the eights will also the eights and nines will also be fours, I guess. If there are any of those. There are two eights. There's like a wheel of fortune. <laughs> uh are there any nines? There's one nine. One nine on the board. Um ten will be five, I guess. Uh fifteen. Uh I'll guess that will be seven. Uh and then thirty will be fifteen. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, wait. There's another. Oh yeah, no. I was like, wait. There's another seven, but no. That was the, that was a fifteen that I just turned into a seven. All right. Yeah. So that's converted. All right. Save that. Uh, yeah. And then. Uh, and. Uh, um. Mm -hmm. I mean, I might want to change to how that system works. Like, I might want to make it so that it's not the same number of, uh... It's not always the same number of, uh... Oh, yeah. Actually, I should do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, too, actually. Now that I think about it. For the, uh, for the growth system, for, like, uh... Not for the, uh, for the player initiated, but, like, for the, uh, for the... Uh, oh, am I done with... Wait, actually, hold on. Before I... <laughs> Before I do this, I should make sure I'm... I finished updating process events keys, or process of data, whatever, um, uh, process exp gains, because that's actually significantly more important, but then I'll do this afterwards. Um, Alright, so I updated these, I updated these, uh, updated these, I updated these, uh, okay, no, I haven't updated this one yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Process exp gains gm name equals uh, uh, process uh, exp gains uh, dot get 
uh, GM name uh, alternately zero in case there is no GM name in the process exp gains uh, plus uh, what is it GM exp yeah uh, okay yeah uh, cool <clears throat> excuse me uh, and then uh, yes and that's the end of process exp gains so now we're also with process exp gains okay good um, so yeah what was the other thing oh yeah so growth the way growth works uh, I'm just going to change uh, the scale on like how we step based on the magnitude of the of like the uh, the points thing or whatever. So actually, maybe I should undo that. Maybe I should. Oh well, I closed it, so I can't undo it. But I was just thinking like I could. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um, so yeah, so growth. Uh, let's go to where growth gets processed. Uh, where does growth get processed? It has to get processed somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, yeah, right, right, right. So this, uh, this, so these, like, these P count, uh, so it'll be like, uh, it'll be like, uh, so I'll say, like, uh, P step, uh, equals, uh, uh, what'll it be? So, so, Oh yeah, so for one thing, um, in the init growth, uh, uh, in the init growth thing, um, when it's actually happening, I think I want the, uh, I w yeah, I want this, this scale to be a little bit different. I think the average will be like four, or the average will be like three, not five, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So then, uh, oh, and I guess the other thing is that like, um, hmm. Hypothetically, these can be worth zero experience, and uh, oh yeah, right. Yeah, when these are worth zero experience. Um, Trusty Bard used to say something like slightly patronizing instead. He would say like, well, that sounds pleasant or whatever. Um, yeah, I might do that again, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, so, because the other thing is, I don't have to do this, like, process EXP gains thing in the case that the growth value equals zero. Um, so, I could skip a lot of this stuff in the case that... Yeah, and it's so actually, yeah, so, right, so I'm going to say, um... So, right, so, if, uh... If, uh, growth EXP value, uh... Uh, equals, uh, zero, equals, equals zero, then, uh... We're gonna do something different. This will be the else case. Uh, uh, so the else case is that we do all this business as. Oh, oops! I um, I <laughs> cut it off at the wrong point. Uh, do 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 do. Oops. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So no, in this case, we're just gonna say actual num players uh, equals one, and it's probably all. Just just that. Uh, oh yeah, so this this na name tag status thing that's actually part of the uh, else case also. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, cool. And then uh, all right, so back to the other one. What was what uh, was yeah right. So with the other one, uh, growth. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, so P step equals, um, what is it going to be? It's going to be like, um, it's like, uh, it'll be, I want it to be, yeah, so it'll be like, um, P step will be, will be like six, uh, times, uh, Six times, uh, 
what is the uh, what is the the actual growth list? So yeah, growth list index GI index zero is the value. So it'll be oops, uh, oh seven. Copy that. Uh, it'll be six times this value divided by three. Three being like the average. So so when it's average. So if if we think of three as like the average, then um, then uh, if we think of three as like the average, then um, It'll, it'll step by six uh, on average. Um, oh, I guess technically, wait, is there? Six times zero. So if this, if this somehow became zero, which it can't, but hypothetically if it did, then the lowest value that we actually have there is like two. So two divided by three. So two thirds of six is four. So that's actually fine. Actually, maybe I should swing the other way with it. Like maybe those all those like uh, maybe I should like flatten, but like not go down to two. Maybe these ones that are twos, like I should actually boost up to threes, because like one of the things that I'm trying to accomplish, right, is not hitting too broad a swath of the players. Like I, if anything, I want to hit like fewer players relatively. So, yeah. So maybe three should be like the baseline. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then, so then just, I don't know, just so that, just in case anything crazy happens, we'll say uh, it's actually the uh, the maximum uh, between uh, four and this number. Uh, oops. Uh, yeah. So the lowest this ever goes is four. No, the lowest this ever goes should be six. Um, yeah, because like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to hit too broad, I don't want to hit too many of the players in the, and right, so, so yeah, so I will, I'll make, I will make it so that, um, all these twos are actually threes, uh, again, I think they started as threes, um, so yeah, these, so these are usually worth three points, uh, do, do, do. uh, so they're usually worth about three points, and they usually hit a quarter of the players. Whoops, uh, not twenty-two, or not thirty-three points. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. And then some of them are worth more points, and the ones that are worth more points don't hit quite as many players. Uh, yeah, okay. I feel like that should be good. Uh, oh yeah, except uh, right. So we have to uh, we have to use uh, P step when we're clicking through the player list. Uh, yeah. And so then, um, so then, uh, yeah, so then for the player initiated, uh, so when the player initiates these, or like when the GM initiates these manually, then the, the, it'll always hit a quarter of the players, but it'll give out an amount equivalent to how much, um, how much, uh, oh yeah, that's the other thing. I don't want to use growth time. I actually want to use like a, a separate like points pool thing. Um, I guess. Wait, how's that going to work? No, because I will, I will still use timing for the, pa for the automated system, because the automated system, like, schedules those things out. Um, uh, the automated system, like, yeah, uses the schedule, so, like, I can't really flex that, that timing. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, so let's, um, let's instead, uh, do what? We could, no, I guess this is fine. I'll just use, yeah, I'll just use the timing for now. I'll just use the timing system for now. So if the, if the timing is like every, let's say the timing for simplicity's sake, let's say it's every 30 minutes. So if it's every 30 minutes, then like, it's, so it's like the, uh, the difference in timing divided by three. So if like the, uh, so if the difference in timing was um, 10 minutes apart, then it would be 10, uh, or be, yeah, so it would be like, um, no, if the, if, the, if, the, if, if the player only, if the GM only waited 10 minutes between events, that, or between these, whatever, growth, blah, blah, then uh, the, uh, how'd that work out? That uh, if, they, if they only waited um, 10 minutes, then it would be, uh, it would be 
Right, it'd be 10 divided by 30 times 3, so it would just be worth one point. So then, hypothetically, if the GM tried to give these out more than once every five minutes, then it would round down to zero, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, all right, so this is fine, I guess. All right, so save uh, save stuff. Um, should I... I might want to do the... Uh, I might want to do the thing where um, Trusty Bard says something... Uh, slightly patronizing when um <laughs> when the gm tries to initiate them too fast just as like feedback for like you know i mean like not i shouldn't it shouldn't be intentionally patronizing but like i don't know he, i think he should say something he should say something to like so that the gm can like learn as to like what exactly is like the correct pace to like i mean the correct pace is like not very often but I don't know, right now Trusty Bard kind of lies. Trusty Bard just says, like, some adventurers, when when in actuality it's actually n no adventurers. Um, so, yeah, maybe I should put that back in. It's not, like, urgent or anything, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. Why not? Uh, it, wouldn't be, it shouldn't be that hard to do, right? It should be, like, a... So if, uh... So, yeah, so growth... Growth the XP value equals zero. So yeah, so in um so if do now uh oh yeah, so it's in so right, so if in here, so we, we can say if uh if uh yeah, this is this is really straightforward too. So if if uh what is it? Uh if growth the XP value uh if growth the XP value uh equals zero, then uh then instead of like um Instead of like doing all this other stuff, uh, oh wait, uh, oh, 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 so actually the passive chirp, that actually should be conditional as well. And the growth time frame time thing. Yeah, so hold on, I'm gonna uh, indent this into the else case uh, here. Uh, and I'm also gonna put it in. Um, in inside, oh, oops, I did not mean to cut that, I meant to copy it. I'm also going to put it in here. Um, right, because in the case where, uh, in the case where, in this other case, like where, when the, when the, when the chat GM initiate, tried to initiate it and it didn't work, then, um, we're going to say, uh, oh, actually, yeah, I should do this for, um, I should do this for, uh, for the not not just the chat GM but also the uh, like the the manual like administrator GM as well. Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay, so so right, so all we have to do here is we just have to say sayq dot put uh, uh, sayq uh, dot put except indented because not like that. Um, sayq dot put. Um, uh, I think it was like oh that. Uh, that uh, sounds uh, pleasant, or something like that. Uh, that's all that happens. So like, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So, right. So similar. Similarly, uh, what is it? It's so so it's like a, it's like growth time, I guess. Oh yeah. Gro or no. Yeah. What is it? It's gr growth. Growth time, yeah. So growth time, I have to change the way it's set up because, like, instead of uh, declaring it how I'm declaring it at present, I have to say, oh, am I even declaring it at present? I guess I'm not. I guess I kind of forgot to actually like put it anywhere. Um, whoops. Uh, okay, so I'm. I have to put it in this like this weird like tk intersection. Uh, it's like uh, growth or no growth uh, growth uh, time uh, equals uh, time dot time. For starters, and then, uh, and then, uh, right. So then, in the data thread, I have to say public, uh, public growth time. I guess. Uh, uh, where's the other growth stuff? Uh, random line break. Uh, where's the other growth stuff? Yeah. Um. So like global. Uh global uh, uh, growth time 
Uh, oh yeah, so growth cooldown right now is is two thousand four hundred seconds. Um, what is uh, 30, 38. I might go for like thirty. Like thirty. Now nah, I guess maybe I'll go for like forty six. What is so two thousand four hundred is probably forty five minutes if I recall correctly. Uh. Uh, so 40, 46 minutes. Yeah. I just wanted to be like slightly off kilter from the, uh, the timing of the, the other events. So maybe I'll go for like 47. So like actually like 40, 47 times 60 is yeah, 2880. So, uh, oh, maybe it was every, well, every 40 minutes. Uh, so 20, uh, 880. Wait, was that what it was? Yeah, or 2820, sorry. Not that that matters, but whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's fine. Uh, okay, and then... Uh, and then... Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Joshua Jeff. I was not paying attention to the, uh, the event. I would have helped out if I had been paying closer attention. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay, so... Um, so, cool. And then... Uh, What's uh, what uh, what do I want to do now? Am I done with stuff? Like, am I? Yeah, I think I'm. I think that was like the conclusion of things that I was in the middle of doing. So I ditched potential experience. Um, consider player say. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the phrase in uh, the phrase like in player dictionary is a dangerous phrase to me. In player dictionary. Yeah, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. I actually, I think, so I think, yeah, and I do it fair, I do it enough times that, like, I, I think I'm gonna make the player set. And it just, oh my gosh, I do it so much. I do it so much. <laughs> I don't like, oh my gosh, look how many freaking times I do it. Okay, yeah, so this definitely merits the player set. Yeah, look at that. Oh god, that's gross. That's so gross. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, so player dictionary, uh, uh, player dictionary, uh, equals, alright, so we're gonna have the player set, uh, uh, equals, uh, set, or wait, is it, it's lowercase s set, I think. Uh, yeah, so every time we say, uh, or so, okay, so when we add player, uh, we're going to, we're going to say uh, player dictionary index name equals adventure. We're going to say player set uh, dot add uh, name. Uh, yes. So we're just going to keep these in sync. Like the set is just going to be the quick reference version of the player dictionary keys. Uh, yeah. Uh, and so, so the other thing that we need to do is uh, we need to look up situations where we say player dictionary dot pop because whenever we remove a player from the player dictionary, we also need to remove them from the player set. So player uh, player set uh, uh, player set. Uh, I don't think we need to do this for the graphics. I think we only need to do this for uh, we only need to do this for uh, the the data thread. Uh, so or, so player set dot add uh, or no excuse me this is dot um, dot remove right and we don't have to use discard because we we know that we are in fact removing this player uh, doo -doo -doo. I mean I might want to make like a remove command because like at this point like there's like now three things there are now four things that I do every time I remove a player but I don't care um, actually no maybe. Yeah, maybe this is the time to uh, to do that. Because there are literally these four things now that we're doing literally every time. So... Uh, yeah. It just seems silly to do it this way. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's do that. So we have add player, and now let's make remove player too. Uh, and we're not going to... I'm not going to, like... I, like, I previously had the idea of, like, oh, I should add a remove player function... Um, I'm not going to actually do with it what I had been thinking of doing before, but, um, yeah, so remove, uh, player, 
it's going to be a very simple function. It's just going to take a name, and it's just going to do those four things that we do every time we remove a player. So uh, it's going to it's going to be um, these things here. Uh, so uh, oops, uh, where am I going? Uh, remove player. Yeah. So um, it's just going to be that we so we have to say uh, like global global uh, player dictionary uh, global player set uh, and global uh, graphics messages uh, and then it's just going to be for each of these things just name 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 uh, doo -doo -doo. name 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 Uh, yeah, <laughs> just so I don't have to <laughs> say those four things like all over the freaking place. Uh, all right, so uh, copy this. Uh, sorry, so let's look at the places where we were saying player dictionary uh, dot pop. Uh, right, this is the correct one, and now all these other places we can just replace it with uh, with uh, uh, remove player. Oh, that works. Yeah. That works nicely. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Oh no, wait. There's too many. Uh, there's too many square braces here. Yeah, there's one extra square brace. Uh, other than that, it works fine. So do 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 do. Oops. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, okay, save that. And then uh, there are a few more of these. <laughs> As we saw earlier when we were, or yesterday when we were adding in the mute voice thing, it's not like it happens that often, but like it happens enough times that um, mm -hmm. I mean the original the original reason I was thinking of putting in the uh, the remove player function was because uh, like um, I was thinking of like uh, I don't know just like the logic surrounding like whether the player leaves. It used to be more confusing because it used to be that like, so right so right now players don't leave during an event if they're participating in the event. But then they're also used, back when graphics and data were on the same thread, there also used to be the condition that like players wouldn't leave if they were like on screen at the time. Um, and so like there were these like complex situations like, okay, if the player, if the player leaves, but they're on screen, but they're not in the event, then like, you know, th so there's this like complex processing it wasn't even that complex it was just like a little like logistically heady uh as in terms of like in any given situation like am i supposed to excuse me am i supposed to actually remove the player or am i supposed to mark them for removal at a later time or like yeah um oh so this is not actually the player dictionary this is uh this is the graphics side of things okay so apparently yeah those are the only places i guess that i had to update that uh okay so now um Okay, so now, so now, yeah, when we add a player to the player dictionary, we add them to the player set, and when we remove a player from the player dictionary, we remove them from, from the player set. So, good, now we can, uh, so now anytime we would be checking in the uh, player dictionary, uh, we can just look in the player set instead. So, uh, um, uh, sorry, I'm just, like, thinking about stuff. What am I thinking about? I'm thinking about how, um, what am I, what, uh, sorry, no, it's just like, I just like, it was just thinking like, so I'm, I'm like trying to like optimize the game so that it can run in like more situations or like it can run like, uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to optimize it so that a, a higher number of players can like play the game with, before it like crumbles to dust <laughs> but like i'm kind of just like pushing the upper limit up i'm just like pushing it so that like we can accommodate a higher number of players but like it's it's like i mean it's literally never going to get to the place where it can actually accommodate an infinite number of players right um which is just the the way things work um but like i don't know what it so what do I do there? Like at that hypothetically hypothetical infinite like height, like do I just like do I just never do I just like shut down the game and be like 
well, not going to happen <laughs> or whatever. Like, um, I don't know. It feels like I should, uh, instead, uh, I just, it feels like I should instead like, um, pare it down. This is like apropos of like nothing. This is like neither here nor there and has like nothing to do with anything that I'm like currently working on or like really planning on working on or whatever. But like, I just thinking like, I do a lot of like complex, like computation and stuff. Not, not that complex, but like, I do like a lot of, like, I do a lot of, uh, data handling and stuff for like players and like, you know, just to get the game to feel like a game and, uh, get it how I like it. And then, um, thing is though, I can, um, I can hypothetically get the, like, if we ever, ex if, like, I don't know, if the game ever, like, exceeded a certain limit, like, I could always, like, just start cutting features. Not, like, cutting features, but, like, just start, like, deactivating features. Like, um, another hypothetical situation. Yeah. Or, oh, uh, I, li okay, I'll tell you up front, Vigard, literally every question I ask is a rhetorical question. It's, I'm not, I, I know this is confusing. It's just my speech patterns. Um, I ask my, like, I ask myself rhetorical questions a lot, and I apologize, but I, I, I just apologize. I'm not actually, I don't actually have any intentions to change myself, um, in that regard. So, um, I, I, what was I talking about? Yeah, right, right, So, like, you know how in, um, you know how in, uh, like, Star Trek, they divert power from, like, they divert power to shields or whatever, like, um, I was just thinking, like, uh, the, uh, I could basically have it so that the, if the game hits, like, a certain, like, plateau, it, um, it could be that, uh, like, some systems shut down so that other systems can, like, take over. So, for example, like, the data writing thing. Like, if we ever hit, like, a certain limit, I could literally just be like, okay, I'm not even going to bother trying to write data just like process like events and stuff like that. I mean, that's not something I have to think about now, but it was just like, I don't know. It's, these are just things that I've started thinking about now that the game can hypothetically run with like a much higher number of players. And so it's like, what's the next challenge? What's like the next, uh, yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. So, so right. So now we have player set, which is going to be great because, uh, instead of saying in a player, uh, dictionary, uh, in, most if not not literally all no yeah i think po probably in like all cases now we can we can replace it so um so actually yeah let's do uh let's say so for uh in uh player uh oops not in underscore player in player uh dictionary let's start at the very top tippy top um because now we can say instead we can say oh yeah so the places that we're referencing this will need, uh, so, yeah, some, some places we say, oh, we, I guess we never say global player dictionary here. I still have no clue how, like, global, like, player dictionary, global player set, blah, 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 how that all, how that stuff all works, but whatever. Um, so in, uh, player set, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna put it in here. I don't know if it's necessary or whatever, but global player set, uh, all right, so replace, replace, I'm replacing this correctly, right, global, or, uh, in player set, I mean, that has to be correct, right, um, all right, so for all these, uh, replace, replace, uh, so what is this, kick, yeah, this is, uh, okay, so if, if name not in player set, for, or if bi not in player set oh nope this is something different <laughs> nope that's different that's a different thing um okay uh if name in player set and uh oops uh and, oh, so so for peaky in player set uh actually i guess those ones when I'm looping, I don't need to... There's no point in changing it for the loops, necessarily. Unless there is. I don't know. I... Oh, 
yeah. This kind of solves the whole, uh... Oh, what? Uh, Actually, yeah, in the places where I reference, like, dot keys, uh, I probably shouldn't use player set. Because, like, the things that we just changed earlier today, how, like, um, sometimes when we iterate over the player dictionary, we, we like, it doesn't like it when the dictionary changes while we're iterating, so um, we, uh, we use dot keys instead. So we'll probably, in those cases, we'll probably want to continue to use dot keys. Uh, all right, so... Uh, so if our name in player set, if Twitter half in player set, uh, if uh, Twitch half in player set, in player set, in player set, in player set, uh, in player set, in player, no, this is different, uh, in player set, in player, no, that's different. Um, Okay, so this is, yeah, this is an example of when we're using dot .keys. Um, I mean, I'm tempted to use dot .set. I wonder if that would work better. But, I mean, the thing is, we're, we're doing remove player. So, I guess I can, I guess I can, I can just test that out. Um, so, let's say, uh, so, like, uh, uh, num set equals uh, set, and, uh, so let's say so for i in range ten, uh, uh, num set uh, dot add uh, li, and then uh, so what would happen if we tried to say uh, for li in uh, num set uh, if uh, li equals uh, or if li uh, modulo two equals uh, one uh, remove or uh, num set, num set. I'm just seeing if you can remove things while it's uh, iterating. Uh, remove, uh, remove li, because like dictionaries don't like it when you do that. I'm just curious if sets like it. No, nope, yeah, set size change during iteration. So yeah, yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't, we don't. I, don't I, just, I, just, I just don't even need to change that one. All right, so if li, yeah, it's, it's, it's not for the fours as much as it's for the ifs. The ifs are the important ones. Um, uh, all right, so that one's not the same. We don't need to change that one. That one's not the same. Not the same, not the same. Uh, that one, yeah, good. Uh, that one's not the same. That one is good, yes. Or it's, I mean, it's iteration, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, that one's not the same. Uh, that one's not the same. Not the same. Not the same. Not the same. Uh, it doesn't matter because it's iteration. Uh, that one, yes, that's, that one's good. That one's good. All right, uh, we did it. Okay. So yeah, so with sets, like you can look up data in a set faster, or like with not. I assume it's faster, or it's. I guess it'd be actually variable, right? But it's like, um, you can look up uh, data in, like in fixed time instead of, yeah. So like when, um, so like when the player list gets really long, then that should be better, hypothetically. Uh, and that was one of the things on our to-do list. Uh, consider player set. We considered it and we implemented it. Um, set up exp cache. Yeah. So right, so we did, we did add the exp cache, but um, what we didn't add was like, something that made it like less annoying for where we want to save linked experience on player and transfer on unlink. Um, so, mm, yeah, what do we want to do with that? Um, oh, you know what? Oh, you, oh, you know what? You know what we might want to do in general? you know, yeah, you know what it just occurred to me is, um, we probably want to give all the levels up front. I changed it, like, I flip-flopped on this. First I made it so that, like, originally, if you could gain multiple levels all at the same time, and then I changed it so that, actually, you didn't gain multiple levels all at the same time, you, like, um, you, uh, you would only gain one level. Like, every time you gained 
experience. Every time experience was added to the player, you only gained one level, regardless of how much you got. Um, like you, you wouldn't lose experience or like, you, you know, your, your, your experience would still count and you'd reach your next level sooner. Like the next time you gained experience, you'd gain your next level and so on and so forth. But no, I do want to change that now. I want to, uh, yeah, yikes. I guess like, um, so for the level tweets thing, I guess that's fine. I guess like, even if you gain multiple levels all at the same time, you'll just still get the, you'll just get like a bunch of tweets in a row. Although I still want to deactivate that for, uh, for like the unlinking cash thing or like for cash gains, because like, yeah, no, I still want a way to, to temporarily deactivate level tweets because like there's some situations where it's just not appropriate, but actually if I'm just using the cash for that, then is it that like you never get level tweets for the cash? I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe the cache will, like, not be, like, a game feature. It'll just be, like, for debug purposes. And so, maybe, like, or maybe, like, with the cache, maybe, like, you only get notified of, like, the highest level that you gained. Or, like, I don't know. Maybe it's... Yeah, I guess I'll just consider, like, the cache as, like... It's not, like, supposed to be a feature. It's, like, a backup emergency thing. And so... I will just temporarily deactivate level tweets for the cache, for the purposes of the cache. So, yeah. So, I guess for add experience, yeah. Add, uh, oops, uh, not that side. Uh, so when we add experience, uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to have a, a separate flag. So name, experience, and then like, um, and then like, uh, tweets, uh, uh, and so this for this last value, it's it's usually going to be uh, uh, yeah, as usual. I'm going to change it to add experience and add experience Twitter, um, <laughs> which is weird, but whatever. Um, I like to have like multiple versions of these functions just for no particular reason. No, um, so that I'm going to have add. Uh, I'm going to have the original add experience is just going to be. Um, is just going to call, uh, oh, oops, uh, the original ad experience is going to have two, it's going to have name and it's going to have exp, uh, and it's going to, all it's going to do is call the other version, which, so it'll say add, uh, exp, uh, twitter, uh, and it'll call it with name, uh, with exp, and with, uh, with true. Because the new, the usually, hey, this is the new follower noise. Uh, <laughs> Um, Chinga Banana, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for following. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, right. So, so I'm not going to replace any of the places where we call add exp. Um, we're just going to do that the same, and then we're just going to have the separate one that we can call, right? So we can say add exp Twitter um, copy. So like up uh, up here when we were uh, doing the cache loading stuff, instead of calling add exp, we'll call add exp Twitter. Uh, and we'll we'll pa we'll send it in with the with the value uh, false because we don't want to tweet about these things. Uh, yeah, uh, and then uh, yeah. So then the rest of it is pretty simple and or pretty straightforward. Um, we just say instead of so the part with the uh, where is it the uh, level tweets process level tweets or whatever or like uh, where is it? It has to be somewhere in this like level up section. Um, uh, level tweet queue. Yeah, so if uh, if Twitter ID not equals zero... Oh, we don't have to do any of this Twitter ID stuff. Like, this whole section can be... Um, uh, like, if... Uh, so, like, if, if tweet, then we can do all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um... Wait, what do I use this level up for? Oh yeah, yeah, for for the graphics message. Um, so I guess uh, yeah, please feel free to ask all, as many questions as you want. Um, if they're not about game development, I might not answer them, but feel free to ask. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, sorry, I don't mean to sound bitter. It's just like trolls are in it for everyone. Um, I, did, I have no reason to think that you would be a troll, but like, like eighty eight percent of the people who show up here are t horrible trolls. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm being dramatic. Um, okay. Um, so if tweet, uh, Twitter ID, yeah, so, so it's all this stuff about then. Um, I guess like, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so, sorry, so we're just deactivating the tweet. Yeah, so then the other thing that I'm realizing is that I should just do the, uh, I should just handle multiple level ups. I mean, like, this, the, like, the difficult part is already handled already, so, like, we don't have to actually have to worry about that. Um, I, yeah, so I guess, like, um, yeah, how's this gonna, how's this gonna work? It's, like, um, Sorry, so we, we only level up in the case that effective experience is greater than EXP at level blah blah bling blong. Um, uh, uh, oh yeah, I did um I did go to school to uh to learn software programming. I didn't learn uh games. Like I didn't go to I, I didn't go to study games specifically, but I went I did go to college to study uh uh, software programming, and I learned, like, I worked mostly in C languages at school. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah. Okay, so, um, <laughs> if e, if effective EXP is greater than EXP at level, so what is it that I actually want to do here? Um, I guess I want to say, uh, so yeah, so so what if instead of doing that, what if I said um, uh, while uh, while uh, player dictionary effective experience uh, while effective experience is uh, greater than or equal to uh, exp at level current level blah 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 uh, or actually. Yeah, no, instead I'll say, um, I'll say, uh, I'll say, so I'll say start level, uh, start level, uh, equals, uh, equals the player's level. Just, we'll, we'll keep track of that, um, so that, you know, we can keep track of how many levels we gained. Uh, how did I learn programming? Yeah, I learned it at school. Like I was saying, I, I learned programming from, uh, my secondary education, in the, like, a university setting. The old-fashioned way, as they, as they say. <laughs> um, all right, so this, the level that we're starting at before we gain the experience is, uh, is our current level. Um, what's the best language? Yeah. Um, I get this question a lot, and the, the correct answer is that there's no best language. Like, it depends on what you want to make. Like, because, like, games can be anything, right? Like, there are a million different type of games that you can make. And for each type of game you can make, there's going to be a different answer. So I'm, I'm happy to answer that question with, like, more specificity. But um, uh, you'll have to tell me what type of games you want to make. Uh, because otherwise, there is no correct answer to that. Uh, all right. So so while player uh, name, exp, blah, blah, uh, exp at level. So we're going to say... Uh, we're gonna say um, player level plus equals one. Actually, yeah. So player level plus equals one, and then where's the thing about like L up or whatever? Yeah. So L up. Uh, uh, L up. Uh, append uh, name dot level, and then uh, I actually yeah. So. No, actually, instead of doing start level, I'm gonna say like new L ups or something. Or no, I'll do start. I'll do start level, and then I'll say like new. I don't know. I'm like um, some of this I might change, but like new L ups. Uh... Oh yeah, no, no, that was the thing that I changed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So, so actually, no. It's not gonna be like L up dot append. Wait. No, no, no. This is fine. Yeah. No, this is fine. Right, because it's on the graphics thread that I do different things with this stuff. Um, mobile games? Uh, okay. 
Um, I personally would recommend, uh, I would recommend checking out Unity if you're first getting into it. Because with Unity, you're going to be very, oh, well, actually, did you have, do you care if you're making like 2D or 3D? Because actually, if you're doing 2D stuff, Unity might not be the right choice. I don't know what is the right choice for, for 2D on mobile. Um, but yeah, so do you prefer like 2D stuff or 3D stuff? I guess that's kind of an important question. Um, yeah, what is it that I want to do here? I guess, okay, so new level ups. I'm, I'm still not, I've changed the system enough times that I'm not even sure what I plan, really plan, want, like what I'm really wanting to be doing right here. So let's say, okay, so new level ups equals an, an empty list. And so for starters, we'll just say like uh, new level ups. Uh, 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 new level ups uh, dot append, uh, yeah, the level. So like, we'll just level up the player. We'll we'll keep track of which level ups are new, and then um, and then uh, right. So we'll need to keep track of which level ups are new. Oh, right. So then, so the conditional here is is going to be um, is if the uh, if the length of uh, new uh, if the length of uh, new l ups is uh, greater than zero. This is this is now the indicator of wherever we leveled up, and we don't have to uh, we don't have to say level up anymore because we already did. Um, so this L up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So this L up can still we can still say player name dot level because um, that's what we're going to. Wait, why do we use this L up? Why don't we just use the player's level? I don't know what you, we use this L up for. I don't think it's a meaningful thing. I'm just gonna, instead of, I'm gonna replace this L up. Cause like we only, yeah. No, we just use it for sending that out. I don't, I don't know why I thought I needed that. But whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, so player level, uh, oops, wait, what happened? Oh, I hit control B instead of control V. Uh, yep. Uh, uh, most Android apps and games are written in Java because that's the operating system. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's like a necessarily because like that wasn't the the question wasn't like what are most people doing Danbo. The question is like what what's the best one to what's the best one for for uh, banana, Mister or Mrs. Banana. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. If you guys feel like answering questions, feel like go go for it. I guess I just like the, so the reason I because that that might not be the right answer for uh for 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 uh Doctor Banana. I'll just assume you're a doctor. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean like it's it, I appreciate that you're trying to help. Um, I just like I don't know. I uh, yeah. Uh, oh, here, I'll, uh, you know what's good is, uh, 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 sorting h.at, uh, I'll, um, try, give that a, give that a whirl, see how that goes, um, cause that, uh, that, um, might be helpful, I don't know, it, it's at least, uh, it's, it's, it, it's like, kind of like I was saying how you have to answer questions like they're the questions you have to answer in order to get the answer to your question um then that so that site that i linked to in chat is basically like a site that asks you the questions that you need to uh you need to answer in order to get the correct answer so give that start start there i would say and then uh uh yeah um so yeah so the other thing i'll point out just quickly before i move on is that um Coding is not um, necessarily the right path for everyone. I, it's not that I don't believe, like I say this to everyone, so it's not that I don't believe that you can code. What I don't believe necessarily is that people who, who say they want to code actually want to code. Um, I think a lot of people say they want to code because what they actually want to do is program and make software. And coding is actually like the least helpful thing you can do in learning how to make software. Like it's not a bad way to go about it. Like I'll put it this way. If you can just like magically learn to code, like that's really good for you. But um, if you if you want to make software and the first thing you learn is how to code, you're 
doing it the hard way and in my opinion like the wrong way but yeah i mean like go for it if that's what you want to do um i just like i know that there are other ways that you could learn like 10 times faster um i mean and, and that's going to be different from person to person but like there are just like uh they're just like I, I, I promise you there there are way better ways so like I'd say I just like I, I really want to encourage you not to get hung up on that and instead to like investigate like you know what might actually appeal to you but who knows maybe maybe coding is really right for you so so if, if that's the case go have a wonderful life um, <laughs> all right so what am I what am I doing here so we have the new level ups we have uh, we have the level ups, blah, blah, et cetera, et cetera. So do we actually even care about like L up on the, uh, what do we actually ever do with like L up on the data thread? I feel like nothing. I feel like this is actually now like a completely pointless value. And like, why did we keep it? Yeah, we kept it for the, we kept it for the graphics, but like, yeah, no, I don't think I was actually even supposed to keep it for for the data thread. So yeah, let's just get rid of it altogether cuz I'm pretty sure it just never comes up. Unless it comes it gets referenced like what's 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 up here? Player dictionary name L up. What is this? What is this? Add player? Why do we care about it for adding player? Oh, we just reset it. Well, both of these things are stupid and I shouldn't be doing them. Um for one thing, um yeah, oops. Uh, and uh, yeah, so so are there actually other references to L up? Uh, right. So for the adventures graphics, that is actually a thing. Uh, but for like the player, like I just don't think this is a thing. I just really don't. Uh, tweet level ups. That's different. Tweet level ups. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was just a that was just vestigial, not actually important. So yeah, so instead we'll just keep track of uh, of new level ups, and yeah, so also this level up, we don't have to care about that. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, and so so new level ups, yeah, and then uh, yeah, I guess we'll just fire off. Like if a player gets multiple levels in like a short period of time, um, we'll just uh, we'll just fire off all those tweets. So if tweet, then uh, so we'll say. Uh, Okay, so if tweet, then we'll do that, and then we'll say, um, so so right, so we'll say global level tweets, and then we'll say for uh, for li in uh, new uh, l ups. So we'll say uh, level tweet uh, q dot put. So it'll be the Twitter ID, the, and then and then the second value here will be the um, will be the li. Uh, yeah, and we'll just like spam all of them. Cause I don't know better. Cause like the alternative would just be to skip some and I, I don't, I'd rather not skip them. I'd rather just like pew, 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 like rapid fire, like shoot off a few. Um, cause we're already like, we're, so we're deactivating it in the case of cash. Like there shouldn't be a way in this game that you actually get like more than several levels at the same time. So, um, uh, Binry, do I get much money from coding and the creation of video games? If you want money, blah, blah, blah. excuse me. If you want money, um, software programming is a good idea if you want money video games are a bad idea um so like yeah if you yeah if money is your motivation then like software really good video games mm, like it could work out for you but like don't count on it um <laughs> um uh yes joshua jeff if you think about it really hard, it'll happen. I swear. You just what you do is you you think about it really hard, and then and then the game will pick up on that, and uh, and then it happens automatically. It's it's kind of magical, how it works. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. So uh, <laughs> um, all right. So uh, let's uh, save the save the script. Uh, is this good now? Is this, uh, did we convert to mass level ups? Uh, uh, th uh, I think, I think this is good because like basically all we do now when level up, when blah, 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 all we do when leveling up is, uh, 
You know what's funny? We actually don't need to keep track of the player's level on the data thread, now that I think about it. Oh, and we don't use start level for anything, do we? Yeah. We actually don't even need to keep track of player's level on the data thread. Because level is like kind of like a superficial thing, right? Like, I mean, they're, they're, as you level up, you gain things like uh, like influence that affect how the game plays. But like the actual like level itself like is like just strictly like a graphical quality, which is kind of funny. Um, uh, huh. Oh no, I guess I do keep track of it here just for uh, just for the purposes of uh, of referencing experience at level. All right, sure, whatever. I guess that's good enough reason to keep it. <laughs> good enough reason as any. Um, all right, so save uh, save this stuff, and then yeah, I think this is everything I needed to do for uh, in terms of uh, converting converting it over. Um, so yes, yeah, so now we can read in caches, and when we're reading in caches, we won't tweet level ups. And uh, so now, oh yeah, yeah. So right, so this is just the setup work. Uh, so set up cache to install. Uh, discreetly on add player, yeah. Uh, done. Uh, so now we have to save uh, linked experience on player and then transfer on unlink. Uh, who will I be voting for in the 2016 election? You maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I, maybe I'll write you in. Uh, wait, I thought I thought Luminardi already controls the, uh, the entire world. Why do you need to be voted in? Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, Dembo. I say er, I say um a lot. I say, hmm, ah, uh, okay, so, yeah. All right, so, let's, um, all right, where were we? We were, uh, what, uh, what, um, ah, uh, okay, so, so, um, right, then, uh, the, um, so the, so the thing, uh, right, I, um, ah, uh, yes, okay. So, yes, let's, uh, what was I, I, okay, the, the, so the next thing, so the, the thing that I, so, um, yeah, I, <laughs> sorry, that was me, uh, demonstrating all of the, uh, all of the things that I say when I'm not actually saying anything. <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do the thing with the, uh, save linked experience on player and transfer on unlink. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Sorry, I get really cognizant of it, and it, like, really throws me off. I actually end up saying it more often if I'm cognizant of the fact that I would be saying it. Not even necessarily that I... I it's, actually, it's not just that I say it more often. It's that I'm, like, so disrupted when, like, I... when I'm cognizant of that. Like, I, can't, I, I basically can't focus, so... Like, thank you, you terrible jerk, for bringing that to my mind. Like, thank you, I hate you. Um, <laughs> not literally. Um, yeah, okay, so, uh, I, maybe this is actually the right, I think this is actually, huh. Oh, no, you know what? I was gonna say, you know, actually, okay, there's, there's never going to be a good time to, like, run the script to convert the, um, to convert the passive points over. I feel like I should just do it now. Like, I feel like I should just, uh, um, I feel like I should just, like, maybe right at the end of this event, I'll restart the script, uh, and, like, switch over, well, okay, so I should, maybe, so I'll write the script now, I guess, and then maybe at, like, at the end of this event, I'll, or, like, sometime in the near future, I'll actually, um, I'll, like, uh, I'll run the script and then switch over to this system, because, like, yeah, it's weird, because, like, I, I, I want to, like, um, so the thing, the cache, like, they're the, uh, like, the cache linked experience thing that I was planning on adding in, like, I was thinking of using, like, the, I was basically going to replace what the, the point, like, the, like, what currently is the passive points, uh, I was going to, like, basically, like, convert that to instead, um, to instead, uh, convert the passive points to, um, to this cache file, and then, so, yeah, so I would want to, like, rinse out the old data before I, you know, make the switch, of course, and, um, so, yeah, so then it's, like, just the question of, like, when, when do I make that switch, and, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna wait, so, um, let's make the new script, uh, so file, uh, new, uh, 
Python file, uh, so test slash, uh, let's say, um, uh, so like passive uh, to cache. Uh, uh, yeah, and then so, right, so uh, import uh, OS, uh, OS, we're going to say uh, for, uh, so like for PI in uh, OS dot lister uh, dot dot slash players, um, so for everyone in the players directory, uh, we're going to, we're going to check if they have the, if, if they have a passive points value, if they do, we're going to give them the cash instead. We're going to cash them out, cash in their passive points. Um, so yeah, so let's say uh, if uh, os dot path dot uh, exists exists. Uh, what is this going to be? Uh, dot dot or uh, dot dot slash players uh, slash. Uh, plus uh, li actually so I'll say um, I'll say like p f path uh, equals equals uh, players plus li uh, this business here uh, players plus li plus uh, exp dot txt then uh, oh yeah so we'll say um, so we'll say like uh, uh, p points uh, or p points uh, equals zero for starters. Uh, so if if uh, if OS path dot exists, uh, pf path. Uh, oh yeah, I always put this. Not that it matters, but I think in general I feel like I should keep these grouped. Not that it matters, but okay. So so if OS uh, dot path exists, pf path, uh, then we will say uh, with uh, open uh, pf path. Uh, uh, as uh, uh, e data, we'll say uh, p points uh, plus or equals p points equals uh, e data dot read. We're going to read in this data. We're going to split it on the space character because that's how this data is formatted. Split it on the space character. Oh, we also. Oh, actually, no. You know what? We have to. Uh, we have to do more than this because not only do we have to um, read in the passive points, we have to like rewrite the data without the passive points in there. So, so actually, we're gonna say. Um, we're gonna say. Uh, yeah. Right. So like. Um, uh, yeah. Like. Uh, so like lines uh, equals uh, empty list, and then we'll say. Uh, We'll say uh, so lines uh, lines equals uh, e data dot read dot split on space character yeah that's fine uh, so then we'll say um, uh, so with uh, open uh, pf path for I know there's a way that you can open them for write, reading and writing at the same time but I don't care uh, I'm just gonna open it twice <laughs> this is like a one-off script why is it why do I have all these squiggly lines going on indent expected shut up <laughs> I don't know why it's giving me all those squiggly lines so I'm just gonna ignore it for now um, uh, <laughs> um, you'll be wearing what the guy in your profile pic wears when you cast weather that's that sounds that sounds great <laughs> that sounds top-notch <laughs> let me know how that goes um, uh, okay, so we'll, we're, we're going to open this data file again, uh, and this time we're going to write out, uh, it's going to be, so, uh, e data, uh, or, okay, so, like, um, so, say, uh, so, like, uh, we'll say, like, uh, like, e string, uh, equals, uh, e data, or, no, not e data, uh, lines, uh, lines, uh, index one, or index zero, uh, plus, uh, oh, I should, um, yeah, plus a space character. Something just occurred to me. I should back up the, uh, player data before I do this. Um, oh, and if I'm backing up the player data, I should have this script not running while I do that. So, uh, I'll do that in a little bit. Uh, yeah, so, uh, plus, uh, lines, uh, index, zero, uh, index one, 
Actually, no, you know what? Uh, no, this is fine. Yeah, lines index zero plus lines index one. Uh, and then e data dot write uh, e string. Oh, well, actually, I guess I don't need the e string. I can just, yeah, I can just say write this. Uh, do, do, do. Um, yeah, okay, so now, uh, so now the last step is, uh, so if, um, so like regardless of whether uh, there were any passive points, we will, as long as there was that file that existed before, we will want to write out the um, the data file as not having that last data point. So just the first two data points. Why? What is all? What is with all these stupid squiggly lines? Oh, it's because uh, I have that. Clo yeah, it was, I just had an extra close parenthesis. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so if um, if uh, if lines uh, or so okay, so I'll say um, like uh. Oh, you know, okay, so if, 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 uh, if lines, uh, index, uh, no, if, if, if the length of lines is greater than zero, so, like, if we did load any data in, uh, if the line, if the length of lines is, uh, greater than zero, then we will say, uh, p points, uh, equals, uh, lines, uh, index two, uh, as an integer, uh, and then we'll say, uh, if, uh, if P points, no, nope, uh, if P points, uh, is greater than zero, then we'll write out the cache value. Cause if there's, if there was either no data or there was zero, uh, points in this data, then we'll, um, we can just skip writing the cache out entirely, but otherwise we'll say, um, and we, we already know that the, oh no, we don't know. We don't know necessarily that this folder exists. So, yeah. So the the other thing that we have to check is uh, when <coughs> change your mind. We do know that the folder exists. Oh yeah, actually no. This right, right, right. Actually, this can all just be inside the. Uh, we don't have to check if lines greater than zero. We can just put this. Uh, okay. No, I guess technically. Technically, there could be some players that don't have the passive points value if they have, like, really old data. Because, like, the passive points thing got introduced, like... Late, oh, I forgot a plus sign. Uh, the passive points thing got... Yeah, so I guess technically I'll say... So if lines... Uh, if if lines if the length of lines is greater than 2, if there is that third data point, uh, then we'll do this stuff. And, uh, right, so we can assume the presence of the folder, like, players li, because, like, we wouldn't have made it this far without it. Uh, so, so, right, so we'll say, uh, so if p points is greater than, uh, zero, uh, we will say, uh, uh, with, uh, open, uh, uh, it'll be, um, uh, dot dot, or, excuse me, uh, dot dot slash players, uh, uh, plus, uh, or player slash, uh, plus, uh, li plus, uh, slash cash dot txt, um, cause there is no cash, there are no cache files yet, so, um, uh, we don't have to worry about clobbering any, uh, oh yeah, so open it, uh, so open, sorry, we're opening it for, uh, for writing purposes, uh, to write as, uh, as, uh, C data, um, and we'll say uh, C data dot write uh, uh, the in, the the string the string equivalent of uh, p points. Yeah, uh, so that's all we have to do, and hopefully that'll like work and not crash and like good stuff and whatever. So I'm gonna stop the script for now, and I'm going to um, I'm going to do what with it? Um, so yeah, so oh yeah, and then back up the player data first, so that I don't accidentally destroy everyone's world forever. Um, so let's uh, copy this here uh, real quick, and then uh, yeah. So then, um, so once we convert it, then uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to oh yeah, yeah. Actually, um, so one thing I have to do before I get rid of the journey stable or whatever is I have to. Um, I have to, oops, I, I just closed the script. I didn't, okay, well, um, yeah, so one thing I have to do, uh, 
with the uh, right, right. So I have the uh, I have the journey stable and the journey stable original. I'm pretty sure there's at least one change that I did not transfer over between these uh, between like journey stable. Yeah. So so let's say uh, so compare these two, uh, and there's at least one difference here, right? It's something down here. Uh, what did I do with open? Wait, what? It's telling me that this is the one change that I made. Oh no, here it is. <laughs> oh wait, I made more than one change. Uh, wait, what was that? All right, I made a few changes apparently. Um, wait, what? Um, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. I changed. <laughs> that was kind of an important one. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing up on the side thing here. Maybe just because the page. Oh, okay. It's just because the it's just because it's so long. It's like it wasn't showing up. Uh, it wasn't showing the little uh, the little marker things on. Uh, uh, oh, is this is this first previous stuff? Is that is that for me? Is that oh cool? It jumps down to the next changes. Okay, that's that's convenient. Right, you're right. So I, I need to change uh, the position of the. Um, oh, whoops. The uh, file system needs me. Yes, replace destination files. Um, yeah. So the action dictionary. Uh, uh, equals yeah right so these lines uh, had to go I, I think I put them down with the action keys uh, yeah uh, right so that was an important change that we made over here and then what were the other changes that we made uh, oh yeah, yeah the V key thing right right, right. so uh, so let's go to uh, V key and that is not V key oh wait this one is V key all right, well, that's, the, that's, I guess, the scenario where it actually is vkey. Well, good for vkey. Uh, this is the case where it's not vkey. It's actually just key. Uh, if, as I recall, right, is that right? That's line 2943. Kind of. Seems close. It's kind of in that range. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And since there, <laughs> there are all the cases where I forgot to be uh, doing, like, the volume thing at all. Uh, so let's copy... Copy this and uh, where were those places? It was the places where I was editing, like, or I was like doing like dot voice, but I wasn't. Uh, yeah, I was like, yeah. So these places here. Um, doo -doo -doo. So, uh, I, what is it? It's not key. Yeah, it's not key here. It's name. So copy. Uh, or no, 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 it's a key. Excuse me. It's uh, a key. So key. So I replace it there. Place it here. Place it here. Uh, and then, uh, so, uh, it was also here, except here it's, uh, here it is also a key. All right. So that's, that's fine. Um, but then I think the next one, yeah, here it's like arbitrarily just L I instead of, instead of, oh, whoops. Oh, wait, oops. I changed the indentation in the wrong way. Uh, yeah. Unindent, uh, unindent, unindent. Uh, right. And so here, instead of a key, it's just L I. For no particular reason. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, okay. Uh, and then there was so right. So then the other places, the other so then the next things to change were um, the other refer other reference to V key. So V key. Right. So this is another place where it's not actually supposed to be V key. It's just supposed to be key. Um, I mean, I could have changed that either way, but I changed it that way. Uh, and then is that all? Uh, oh no. Okay. So one more. One more place for Viki, and oh, I got rid of the thing where we print out the voice data. Yeah, uh, so one more Viki. Yeah, uh, so key instead of Viki, and we can get rid of the yeah. This thing is also what I got rid of. Uh, yeah, uh, is that all? That might be everything. Uh, do do do. Yep, that's everything. Okay, good. So those stable files serve their purpose. We can get rid of those now. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, for starters, I'm, I'm basically just gonna have to test it. So yeah, no, I'll I'll, I'll do the stable thing again. So copy here, uh, journey. Uh, do, do, do. The funny thing about stable is that, or so I'll call it um, journey run or or something instead because it's not stable yet, right? So I'll, I'll have run and run a ridge. So that way, 
I can do like I did before. I can I can make changes to um, I can make changes to both versions. I can I can update the run version so that it runs. I can update the current version so that it adds the features that I want, and then I can just merge them together like I did uh, when I need to. So yeah, um, am I am I, am I developing a mobile game or a PC game? Uh, yes, yes I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, no, the game that I'm working on is literally the game on the bottom of the screen. What will I develop after I'm done with SideQuest? Uh, I'll tell you the, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I, it's like, I don't have like a, I don't have like an actual name for the project yet, but, um, I'll tell you what my, like, uh, what my working title for the project is. Uh, so after side quest, uh, I think my next project will be called open world. Uh, it's not going to be an open world game is the, is the reason I don't think I, I think I might not call it open world. Because like if I call the project open world and it's not an open world game, I feel like that. I feel like people wouldn't like that. So, I don't know. You're there's no you on the bottom of the screen. No, it, <laughs> I know there's not there's not currently a game on the bottom of the screen. But also, banana didn't just get here. And so, if I say the game that was on the bottom of the screen, then unless like unless you literally have zero memory then you might be able to recall that oh hey for the first like hour you were here there was a game on the bottom of the screen and i wonder if he's talking about that one it's like come on grow up uh so yeah okay so now i'm going to run that script to like get rid of the passive ooh yeah well, i don't know what's going to happen we'll see what happens um uh yes pc or mobile that is the question and that is the answer the answer is yes uh, all right, so uh, projects, uh, projects, journey. Uh, uh, so what am I opening? Oh, actually, yeah. So first, I'm opening test. Uh, what do I call it? Passive. Passive to cache. Uh, so let's see if this works. Nope, didn't like that. L I. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it's not L I. It's P I. Uh, do do do. Uh, uh, so PI, uh, it's uses there, uses it here, and then the other references to LI are just references to, like, lines and list and split and stuff like that. So, okay, I think that should be better. Uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes. Hey, look at that. Um, so that was really fast. I wonder if it actually worked. Uh, I probably should have, like given myself some indication of whether it worked. So like Binry, for example, um, no, it definitely did nothing. It definitely did not do anything. So why did it not do anything? Uh, okay, so, well, so for one thing, uh, when I write, so when I do this, I'm gonna say, uh, so I'm gonna, I'll just say print, uh, print, uh, Oh, whoa, so for one thing, this wouldn't have worked, because it's supposed to be players. Oh, and so for so okay, so this, yeah. Okay, so that's probably why it didn't work. Um, but just to see, like, just to see it working, I guess, I'm going to say um, print, uh, print pi and uh, p points. Uh, no, you're lying. Liars, I will rinse your chat for, 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 such, for telling such terrible lies. Um, <laughs> you're all horrible. You're all horrible people. <laughs> Wretched. Just truly awful. No, I'm kidding. Um, but like, come on, get a life. Uh, <laughs> no. I just like, I don't know. I, I, um, like, I take questions seriously. Like, this stream is supposed to be, like, somewhat informative. So, like, while it's fine to joke, like, if people are going to be, like, just, like, blatantly spreading misinformation, like, just don't. That's, like, not why we're here. The point of this is not to, like like, make people stupider, or just to be ourselves, like, like, mindless, it's just like, yeah, all right, so, okay, so that's, it's taking a little bit longer to run this time, and it seems to be, like, outputting, like, se like, sensible data, so that's probably good, that's probably a good thing, so, like, these, so, hypothetically, these are all the characters who should now have caches, or whatever, right, so, let's see if that's true now, if we just go, hey, look, I got a cache, uh, hey, oh, uh, yes, or, uh, reload it, yes, uh, so, like, so, right, so, okay, so my experience, so my data is, is preserved, except it doesn't have that extra value at the end, 
and now I have an extra, I have like cash. So next time the, so when the project starts up hypothetically, um, I should automatically gain nine points. So let's just see, let's just take a look to see if that seemed to work for other players too. Uh, cash. Uh, so yeah, so this is like, this is probably roughly the same list of players that like, so these players here are the same as these players here. Probably, uh, hypothetically. Uh, so let's, uh, 